Hi everyone, this is Ms. Kilroy. Um, this video is going to explain what you will be doing in the computer lab for the next two days. That's right, we will be in the computer lab today, Thursday, and also tomorrow, Friday as well. Tomorrow I will not be here, so there will be a sub, and the only way you're going to figure out um, the answers to your questions is going to be referring back to this video. So don't forget if you um, get lost or something, need more information, go back and rewatch this video. Okay, as you walked into class today, you received two pieces of paper, one that was titled this, Atom Model and One Pager Project. It's a two-sided document. The other side says Atom Model. I just want you guys to focus on the front page. We are not going to talk about the back side of this paper until next week. So just sit tight. We're going to focus on the One Pager Project. Um, get out a pencil, and I need you to write your name under Physicist. Under element assigned, after this video, I'm going to walk around with yellow slips of paper with um, element names on it. This will be the element assigned to you. You will need to write this down. The due date, the final due date for this one pager assignment is going to be on Tuesday, November 5th. So please write all of this down. You need to write down your name. Element assigned, you need to wait until I pass these out. And then the due date is going to be Tuesday, November 5th, okay? Now let's look at the one pager project note page. You guys have these handouts, but I'm just showing them to you on here. So this is our project um, for today and tomorrow. Today you are focusing on research. So you have each been given an element assigned to you, you are responsible for telling everybody about this element. So, you need to tell them about the description and physical properties, what's the atomic number, the mass, density, boiling point, melting point, and what does it look like at room temperature? Is it a solid, liquid, or gas? What color is it? Give me some history. Um, where did the name come from? Who discovered it? When? Where? Uses. Why is your element important? What do we use it for? Where on earth is it found? Is it found in living things? Give me some two interesting facts about it. Make it exciting. I want you to find some cool things and um, write about it. Um, atomic structure. You need to have a Bohr representation of the atom. Be sure you label all parts, protons, neutrons, and electrons, and include an actual picture of the element. Okay, so one part you're going to have a Bohr diagram, and you're also going to need two pictures of your element. Periodic square, you can simply copy it from your blue periodic square that you have. You are required to have two um, cited sources, and I'm going to show you how to find those sources, where to find information on your element in just a moment. Okay, so this is where you're taking all of your notes today. Um, this is the only thing you're responsible for. By the end of the period, you need to have this completed. Tomorrow, you will be working on your um, final draft of your project. So where do we find the information? Let's go to EDU. Okay, so here is your home page for EDU. I want you to click on Resources. Then you need to click on the Atom One Pager. Okay, this is all of the resources you need to complete this project. Um, so let's start. Where do we find this information? You can start by going to Santa Barbara Junior High's website. So sbjh.org. You need to click on um, links. Then you need to click on the digital library. Okay. The link that we are going to be using is going to be called Chemical Elements. You need to type in the element assigned to you in order to find information about it. Press search. And you need to click on the element. This tells you all of the information you need to know about um, element given to you. This is where you will be taking notes. The note paper that you um, will be taking notes on is titled One Pager Project Note Page. Okay? Um, if you lose it, if you need another copy of it, go back to EDU under resources. Oh look, and your note should pop up right here. There you go. If you need to print it out, go ahead and print it out. 
Okay, besides the digital library over here, there's two other sources given to you. They are under the resource section, and they're these three websites. So I've already discussed the Gale site. Now there's also the webelements.com and chemicalelements.com. There are three resources for you. You do not need to go into Google. Only stay on these three websites. So that is um, all you have to do for today. So next what I will be talking about is the final draft. The final draft, here is what your end goal will look like. So if you can see, this was done um, by a student, and this is our end goal. It's one page. It has one, two, three pictures on it, four including the periodic square. And here's how all of your information is organized. You have a description and physical property section, just simply copying and putting it into a nice format. History, writing in complete sentences with all of the information. The bore structure, you need to label the parts. This person did not label where the protons are, neutrons, or electrons. You need to label that. Uses, this needs to be done using complete sentences. Also, you need two work cited um, information. So a lot of the times on the Gale website, if you look, it has information for you and you simply copy it. So this is my calcium information under um, the Gale website. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, look, I simply copied, copied and pasted it onto my final draft. Okay, so that's what your final draft is going to look like. How are you going to get there? Um, if you want, you can go ahead and start once all of your research is completed. This should be, you should be get started on Friday. So if we go back, here is your final draft. So it brings you down to the bottom of the page, and you need to click on final draft. I gave it to you guys in a Word document so that you can go ahead and type things into this if you don't want to handwrite it. it my handwriting is terrible, so I understand if you just want to type it. Um, only problem is make sure when you're doing this, um, you need to erase these lines before you go ahead and type, otherwise it's going to come out funny. So uh, history, you can just go ahead and type, Humphrey, Davy discovered. Okay, and so on. Um, if you want to put pictures into here, you need to um, go to the internet. I'm fine if you use Google Images from um, a legit source. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to type in calcium. I'm going to type in images. And here are all the possible images. I'm going to look for a credible source. Down at the bottom here, it shows you where it's from. So chemistryabout.com daviddarling.info, images of elements. So the one I like the best, I'm going to use this as an example. So I click on it, I'm going to view the image, and then I'm going to click and copy, and then I'm going to double click where I want it, and I'm going to edit, paste. So this way it fits nicely. If you want to cut it out, uh, if you want to print it and then cut it out, do that in a separate document. Make sure it's not taking up the entire page. This is going to waste paper and waste ink, and it won't even fit on your layout. So make it smaller than you think, okay? And then it should be able to fit in the square. Um, some people like to organize their notes um, however they want. As long as you have the information, that's fine. Um, but you do need to use this template. The only thing I have to help you guys is sentence starters. So. If you look at the Adam one pager rough draft, it'll download down at the bottom, open it. This kind of helps you out a little bit. Here is the layout that I want you guys to use. Um, this kind of phrases everything uh, more easily if you need that assistance. So Humphrey, um, Humphrey Davy discovered this element in 1808 in England. The name of this element, calcium, is Latin for um, calyx, meaning lime. So I can um, type that. This is just your rough draft. This is not what your final draft is going to look like. 
Okay, so again, if you ever get stuck, if you lose things, you need to go to the resource section of EDU, click on add them one pager. Okay, everything you need is right here. The final draft will be Tuesday. The final draft will be due Tuesday, November 5th, the beginning of class. Um, if you can't finish this by Friday after class, you will need to come into the library on Monday morning, Monday during lunch, Monday after school, or Tuesday morning in order to get everything completed. Or you will also have to do it over the weekend. So um, I've given you guys two days in the computer lab. You need to be sure that you use your time efficiently. Okay, if you have any questions, you need to make sure you ask me today, Thursday, and not save it till I'm gone on Friday. Okay, have a good day. Use your time wisely and good luck.